Hi guys, Thomas from Denim Hunters here. And in this video, I'm gonna take you back about six months to this last year's summer, where I went to Berlin for the Selfish Run show. And at the show, I um, caught up with a few people and asked them why they actually go to the show. We've been uh, part of all the editions here. It's a great show. They're focusing on uh, getting together a bunch of really good brands that are making high quality products. And that of course attracts buyers that are into that scene. And they come here to work. They don't come here to be fashionable. Something we always long to go here and, and uh, hang out with our friends. I, I have to put food on the table, but I also want this life. I don't want to change career. I want to work with this till I drop dead. It is, for me, the easiest place to see the most product in the same place, in one venue. Uh, I know a lot of people mention Pity and the stuff in Paris, and, but for what I stock, and for what I like to stock, there's enough. The thing is, there's people from all over the world here. You can't travel around the world and buy individually from each person. Like, if it costs thousands and thousands and thousands a year, it is, this is a two hour flight. So it's, it's really, it is perfect for me. And now, if I'm honest, I like doing it for social. <laughs> Just seeing old boys, you know, like they seem new to seeing you. There's a great selection of brands, obviously. Um, the location is good. For us, one of the main benefits is being able to show our seasonal collections to our European retailers without them having to commit to fly to Japan. What we don't want to do is have our retailers spend their budget, their buying budget, on traveling to Japan twice a year. So if we can come somewhere like Selbridge Run, show our collection in a place where there are similar brands, uh, and we're going to have decent buyers from all the right sort of stores, it's, it's the perfect place for us. I come here first of all to see friends and uh, like-minded people. Next to that, I want to see always what's happening in the, in the industry to give the, the right advices to my uh, clients. I'm really always curious about the latest developments from, from me as a denim nerd. For me, it's also a part of socializing, networking, uh, seeing, talking to other Rodenim heads, to other people, and also keeping the Rodenim spirit alive because uh, I don't have a big budget for the jeans museum. Beside my little Instagram account is almost the only way to make the jeans museum visible to other companies, denim companies, to, to all the denim related people. It's, it's really cool. I mean, I always dream to be in a place like this because there is like everything what we love is here. Because I do Instagram also, I know, you know, I've met few people on Instagram, so you can meet them in real life also, speak. And I think uh, it's a good thing for brand to be here also. They can find new store, they can talk to people about like the philosophy of the brand. I think it's a mix of, of, of how we work and how we think uh, a trade show could be. Getting a, like very nice and good brands from around the world together and also get the best, the best um, buyers and shops from, from around the world together and show them like, like a good service and also like the, the, a good community feeling. Everybody feel comfortable. There's no, there's no competition here and everybody is happy and open and, and, um, and help each other. And um, so I think if you can, if you have a good shop, you're a buyer, you have to, you have to go. 